So I'm back um, for the last portion of this uh, video series and uh, this is uh, where I will be installing or I've, I have installed uh, the electronics on the helicopter, the Beast X, um, the ESC uh, and the BEC. So what I want to discuss here uh, primarily is how to connect all the wires uh, on the helicopter uh, just to be clear, I will not be going through uh, a BSTEC setup uh, in this video series. There are plenty of uh, BSTEC videos out on the internet. Please go ahead and please hit YouTube and Google BSTEC setup. There's, there's just a wide selection of videos out there that explains thoroughly how to set up the BSTEC and actually gives you a better idea on what, what each function um, performs on the beast X it's there's some really good ones out there that I have seen so um, for uh, the remainder of this for this part of the build I wanted to show how everything plugs into the beast X and what I did um, for wiring uh, just for for uh, reference if anybody wanted to copy the wiring I I've done is I have routed everything here um, to the back underneath the tray of the B-Stacks. So everything is fairly simple. It just goes in there. I will tie, put a tie strap on here later so it doesn't touch any moving uh, parts. But everything just goes underneath the plate and comes back, comes out here and plugs in. Okay, so how um, it plugs in is we'll start here from, we'll start on the right going down uh, to the left. Uh, the first plug is rudder and that is uh, this servo and please take note um, the dark wire the brown or the black are all on the bottom of the beast x uh, the negative is actually in the bottom okay so i've seen a lot of questions on the forums with regards to what direction um, they needed to plug um, the connector so bottom is negative so rudders first uh, for the rudder servo uh, for ox one which is gonna be is is the right swash plate servo that's for ox one uh, ale or aileron is for the left servo and then elev for elevator is uh, the servo in the front so now we get to the middle there's a small connector there and that is for um, the remote satellite uh, the secondary antenna for the AR7200 uh, it is included in the kit. It's in the Beast X uh, box. Please um, don't forget to install this. This is very important. It gives you a uh, more diverse uh, you know, signal path when receiving. And um, it just plugs straight in the center. Uh, there's a small plug in there and just um, plug this here and you know, just install it. I will be tie strapping this later. Uh, so the next one is uh, throttle for throttle, and that is a white and black wire that comes all the way from the ESC so the way I routed the wires is I was I went underneath and I bundled all the hair under the frame as you can see they're all tie strapped and then went through up here uh, making sure nothing goes near any rotating parts and then lastly um, aux 3 and aux 2 is for the BEC uh, remember negative on the bottom the black wire is on the bottom, and that's the wire coming from the BEC. All right, so <clears throat> turning the helicopter, um, I wired it up with um, the motor wires going to the front and then going underneath the helicopter. This is the battery wire, and then the BEC, uh, as you can see, there's the plug, it's just you know uh, part of the loom here, it's fairly simple. Um, and that's how I mounted it, double face tape, pretty straightforward. Starting to uh, look like a helicopter now, doesn't it? All right, so uh, um, next part uh, that basically to finish up is installing the servos and uh, linkages. And uh, the tips here I uh, want to show is um, the rear uh, swash servos, the two rear swash servos take the longer ball as you see here 
and they are installed on the side where the spline is so uh, this is the outside of the helicopter it goes inside with a longer ball for the two rear swash servos for the elevator servo uh, the ball the shorter ball is installed and it is in, it's installed outside the servo arm see the spline is right here um, small ball out and then for the rudder it's installed on the secondary hole um, of this arm. For uh, the links, uh, just I just copied um, the lengths per the manual. Um, I'm gonna snap them on and see how close they're gonna be, um, and I'll report back on next, when I come. I'll report back later if, if there's any adjustments needed. But you got the two long ones for the pitch links and the three uh, shorter ones for. Um, the servo arms to the swash so that's what I'm gonna do now is install all this gear and I will be back I've completed installing the servo arms and the linkages um, and the helicopter is complete the only thing uh, I really need to do now is go through the beast tech setup which I will not be covering um, in this uh, build series uh, just go ahead and hit YouTube and search for Beast X uh, setup or Beast X tuning. There's plenty of uh, videos out there. Um, <clears throat> so the only thing I wanted to show to everyone, uh, last um, notable items when building, is the tail servo when it's pointing straight up and down on the horn like so. Um, when it's pointing straight up to the top. Uh, the tail... Um, Right here, the tail slider uh, lever, it should be 90, um, like that, when you got that servo arm on the tail pointing straight up. So that's how you set the length of um, your tail, uh, tail rod, tail push rod. Uh, <clears throat> another thing is, I think I didn't show this, is the motor wires um, with the ESC. It's from the ESC blue to blue of the motor wire, uh, black. From the ESC is white to the motor wire and red is to red <clears throat> and uh, that is it uh, that concludes uh, the, the build for the blade 550x um, I'd like to thank you all who um, has watched and followed uh, this build series uh, hopefully I was able to help you out with your new helicopter and uh, after you complete yours head out there and enjoy it See you guys soon.